give me some uh, advice how mm -hmm. to learn English. So, if you can give me uh, the how, what things uh, an English uh, learner should do mm -hmm. in order to improve uh, mm -hmm. his or her uh, English ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the easiest way is usually watching English movies or listening to English series um, so that you can hear how the language is spoken and then either have English subtitles with it so that you can correspond the words with how it sounds. So this is a very easy way to get familiar with the language. So just watch a lot of English movies, so a lot of American or British films. Um, and then, of course, you're on Cambly, so conversation is, is wonderful with a native speaker. And then try and read. See if you can find any English articles online, um, just maybe some news, or even if you're on social media, um, just try and yeah, use English in your day-to-day -day life. So read and watching movies will be a good way to familiarize yourself with the language. Okay, okay, thanks a lot. So, hmm. uh, uh, some tips about uh, how to speak English, because you know, uh, I, I, in my opinion, uh, speaking mm -hmm. English is the first uh, part of uh, English. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what's your advice uh, for improving uh, speaking? Speaking, well, the best way to improve it is to do it. Um, so, of course, the more you speak it, the more practice you have, the more confident you will feel as well. Um, so, yes, if you are reading, as I say, some English, try and read it out loud to yourself so that you can also hear the words while you're saying it. So you have this like feedback system. So you read the words to yourself. And then if you are signed up on Cambly, try and talk to as many tutors as you can to hear different kind of pronunciations um, because it depends if you're wanting to learn like American English or British English because they have slightly different pronunciations and use of words. Okay. Mm -hmm. so what about writing? So because I just, uh -huh. uh, your experience, uh, so what about writing? writing. Mm -hmm. um, so they usually say that producing the language, so yes, yeah, speaking and writing, is harder than reading and listening. So the, the skills to develop first would, of course, be listening and reading. So those should come easier. So once you have a better grasp of this, then, of course, speaking you're already doing, which is wonderful, but writing will come the more you read because then you'll actually see the words, you'll see the sentences, it'll be easier for you to replicate that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So writing, like leave that, you know, like don't leave it, but I mean like that is something that sort of comes at the end in terms of developing that skill. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. I have a, a problem with uh, vocabulary Mm -hmm. When I uh, mem memorize a vocabulary, actually, mm -hmm. it's hard for me to use in a real life or in, in a context. Mm -hmm. so, what about mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Well, as you say, in a context. So it's very nice then to try and find vocabulary that's linked to certain topics. So if you are talking about food, then you have vocabulary for food. So you know that this vocabulary I will use in this setting or talking about this. Or if you have vocabulary that you use when you are traveling and you need specific things, like how do I get here? Where is the hotel? How do I book this? Like language that you can group depending on certain situations, because this will help you as well. Of course, what you learn and what you will use will be very different. Like you will learn Probably like hundreds of words, but you will only use like a small fraction of that in like everyday speaking. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So try, yeah, try and put the new vocabulary that you're learning in a specific context. Yeah, 
So you'll say like today I'm learning words associated with animals or associated with nature. And then you'll lock them in. So you'll always have that association to the words and what their meaning is related to. Okay. Thanks okay. That. that was okay. Uh, overall a great advice Thank for you. a great okay. learner to mm. do that. So uh, a final question. Yeah. What do you think about mindset, about learning mindset, I mean? Because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I face uh, oh, a word or just a, 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 an article and I mm -hmm. couldn't uh, uh, understand that. So I I feel so, I, I think, I, I say that I can't uh, learn English. So is a mindset uh, play a, a, a big role in learning English or, I don't know, it's, it's a question or, but. Yes, yes, of course. I think your mindset to anything will determine how you relate to that thing. So if you're constantly criticizing yourself and saying, oh, I can't do this, I don't understand, you won't feel good about learning English. So rather see that as like, oh, I don't know this word, let me look it up and then teach yourself that. So have, ha yeah, having a more positive experience with it will make it a better experience for you all around. So don't see it as like, you know, I'm so bad at this, or this is something you want to do. It's difficult. It's a second language. It's really hard. It's very different from Arabic. Um, so you should rather be proud of yourself. Like this is a, a difficult thing that you're doing. So yes, if you find a word that you don't know, rather than look it up online, like look up the definition, how to pronounce it, write it down, make note of it, and then move on. Okay, okay, thanks a lot because, okay. you know, sometimes uh, I know that uh, learning a language, especially English, one of the toughest language in the world, uh, mm -hmm. requires a lot of uh, things like uh, I have a growing mindset or just you said. So um, talking with the native speakers like you, mm -hmm. I'm inspire us to uh, learn mm -hmm. better uh, mm -hmm. thanks a lot for that yes it's a pleasure so if anything if you have netflix find a good series put on the english subtitles and just watch watch and listen that's gonna help a lot okay okay mm -hmm. i will do okay. i have some movies in my computer i mm -hmm. usually watch them so after that, I will schedule regular time in order to watch. Do movies. that. Yeah, it'll it'll help. Yeah, it's an excuse to watch movies. Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but your English, yeah, your English, your English is good. So just keep practicing. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Take okay. care of yourself. Bye. Same to you. Bye.